Good morning, my friends. One of my friends has been down for a date, so I was down in Manila handling some business. Uh, had to go to the MCC. You guys will see that on another video, hopefully. And folks, you know I got a pretty, <laughs> pretty fucking tolerant uh, policy here on my channel about you know the so-called trolls and haters, and you pretty much say what you want to say. And I allow you to stick around and you know leave the colorful comments, but I do have a no asshole policy. And without reading the entire policy, I'll read you the entire policy. It goes something like this: Don't be a fucking asshole. And I'm no, I'm not special here on YouTube. Every YouTube channel attracts assholes and most people I think most people when they when they check their comments every day they're just deleting your ass I mean you, you'll be lucky if you get one comment slipped in on somebody's channel before they just ban your comments and report you whatever and folks by the way you know you can report these people too if they get enough reports YouTube will ban their comments and I got some shitheads on here that I'll, that'll leave a comment. I can see it on the back end, but it doesn't show up on the video. That, that's not my doing. Apparently, it's YouTube's uh, algorithm that's banned them, so they can't, they can't comment on anybody's channel. So, yeah, my, my no-asshole policy occasionally gets violated. And I give people most leeway that I can give them, because I do believe in freedom of speech. But freedom of speech means, you know, you want everybody wants to come over. Uh, no matter what your political views are, we sit down, break bread, have a meal, drink some beer. And I don't give a fuck if you're voting for this person, this party, this party. I, I don't care. As long as we can sit here and debate the issues and have a good conversation, get everybody's blood pressure up, passionate about the topic, that's all good for everybody. But if you sit there and just start you know, belittling somebody or talking down to them or fucking goading them into fucking, you're violating the no asshole policy. You got to go, okay? So this little YouTube channel here, this is my little piece of digital real estate in the world and you know, YouTube has their rules. Uh, but, you know, I, I got my own parameters. It's called the no asshole policy. If you violate the no asshole policy, you got to go. You can still watch my videos. You can still write all the comments you want in the world. Please do. Uh, but they're not going to show up because you're hidden from the channel. And what, so why am I making this video? Every now and then I make a video, right? I make a video and I talk about how people just are total assholes. You know, for example, somebody will leave a comment and then somebody just comes in and belittles them, whether they're, you know, making fun of their name, their screen name, uh, just hijacking the comment, you know, just trying to go to that person into arguing. <clears throat> Just childish shit like that, violating my no fucking asshole policy. Um, and the other thing too, I talked about this on the last video. If you consistently find yourself in my likely spam column on the comments, YouTube is telling me and you that you're an asshole. Okay, YouTube's algorithm, if they put you in the likely spam, Constantly, every day, if I see you in my likely spam or frequently, I, I don't even have to read your comments. YouTube, YouTube's algorithm and other people who are reporting you have read your shit and they're telling me that you're an asshole. So, you know, I, I, like I said, I don't give a fuck what you say about me, but when you start affecting others on my channel, 
you know, faithful subscribers who like to come here and watch, you know, my craziness and, you know, make comments um, that may help others or, you know, contribute to the conversation or the topic or the entertainment. Um, when, when you start, when you as the asshole start affecting other people, that's when you got to go. Because you're just the guy at my dinner table that's disrupting the good time. You're disrupting it for everybody. So I got, I got, I got an email this morning. You know, email popped up, and I'm a little bit late on your email, my friend. My friend, and I'm not gonna name your name, but uh, yesterday, yesterday, long story short, we were out of here at like two in the morning. Two in the morning, went to Manila all day long. Finally got back, so I, I was off the net for for. You know that whole day and then I get back and the, the internet's down and our internet very rarely goes down so I'm not complaining because I've been in other places where my internet been up and down I mean uh, so it's it's very infrequent that my internet connection goes out but when I came home yesterday it was out and it's still out this morning they'll get it fixed today I'm confident so I just had to fire up my cell phone I, I pull up uh, an email and let me see let me see if I can find your email here my friend let's see and it talks about something about trimming your channel of trolls and pieces of shit and let's see dude I'm a fan and I like your videos but every time I say something I get attacked and I've been checking other comments and they're getting it also by the same bastards Okay, would you please ban their ass? Their names are Shithead number one and Asshole number two. I'm not gonna name your names. I'm not gonna give you credit. Cause that's what you want, that's what they want. They want the credit. Uh, but my friend, I did receive your email and I'm gonna take some action right now. So let me find these two bastards. Ah, there they are. They're in the likely fucking spam column. YouTube should change this to the 99% uh, sure we're assholes. They're assholes, Colin. Something like that, you know? Our algorithm says that we're 99.9% .9 sure the people in this column are assholes. And they're right. Boom, there you, I didn't, ha I didn't, didn't even have to hunt for these fucking bastards. <clears throat> My friend said, hey, they're there on the email. You know, here they are on the email. I go to the likely spam, and boom, there's both of you. How fucking convenient. Thank you, YouTube, for the asshole filter. Uh, let's go. So, I appreciate uh, shithead number one. Let's see. All it does is say hide user from channel, right? Boom. Did you hear that click? You know what that click is? That's the, that's the power. See that motherfucker right there? That's the power to get rid of your ass. Don't go away, man. Just go away. Ah, and here's asshole number two coming in right below shithead number one. It's like a fucking horse race. They're right one, and they're neck and neck. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, where's the little circle? Hide user. Okay. You're out of here too. It's pretty simple. I just hit refresh to make sure I got you out of there. And all that work, all that work that shithead number one and asshole number one did, all that time they put, it, put in. It's gone. It's gone because you violated the no asshole policy. So I'll refresh here. I'm working off my cell phone because the internet's down a little bit slowly. It's going to take me a few more seconds to uh, make sure I got rid of you. So instead of a one second click, the verification process is taking me about 30 seconds or a minute here.
go back to the likely spam. Okay, and let's see. Yeah, you're gone. But look, below you is more of your comments. Now I only got to click you once to get rid of you, but look, you're in here multiple times. Either way, you're going. So uh, again, my friend, thanks for the email. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. Yeah, I'm a little bit slow on getting rid of assholes. Yeah, I'm very tolerant. Get trying to give people the benefit of the doubt and trying to allow these shitheads to maybe hang out in an environment where we tolerate them for a while. We tolerate them. We let them hang around instead of you know one comment. They get the little one shot across the bow, and I fucking nuke their ass like other other people on their channel. They just get rid of them. I like to try to let them hang out, be a part of something, and then maybe just maybe they think. You know what? This I've done all these comments. This dude ain't banned me yet. Doesn't engage me. Don't give a fuck. What am I doing with my life? Why am I sitting in this fucking basement? Watching midget porn on the big screen. And over here I'm a broken fucking acer with three keys missing. Wearing my fingers out. Leaving this hatred on some random dude's YouTube channel. Why am I doing that to myself? And, and I can't get the metrics of how many people I've saved by allowing them to stay around that have changed their ways. Maybe they changed their profile name. Maybe they went back and deleted those comments and said, man, I was a shithead. When I first got on this channel, I was a shithead. This dude let me stay around. His subscribers put up with my shit. And you know what? I'm just wasting my time. Okay. There's one more here. You're on the fence. One more. You're you're on the fence. I may give you another day. And if I see you in the likely spam column tomorrow, then then that'll be uh, you'll be asshole number three. Three assholes banned within 24 hours. But right now we're just two. Just two assholes out of here. So I wish you well uh, to my friends who I had to ban. And I call you assholes and shitheads lovingly, but you're, you've are you earned the term. You've earned the term, so when you earn it, you got to wear that badge. And again, don't go away mad. Just go away. But really, I don't want you to go away. I want you to stick around and watch my videos. Give me the thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care what you do. <clears throat> you can type all the comments you want, please. But you're going to be the only motherfucker who reads them. All right, folks. That's the uh, quarterly, monthly, whatever, asshole report here on the channel. So thanks for uh, joining me during this this video maybe a lot of you found this boring as hell but uh, I do ban assholes but I am very wary of doing so because I do believe in freedom of speech and I am trying to help these these folks these individuals who obviously obviously have something going on in their life um, or their lifestyle. I'm not giving them a pass, but, but there's something going on in their lives to where if they do not have anything more positive to do in their life, but to go to a total stranger's YouTube channel and harass other strangers in a chat box for their amusement, there's something going on with them. Um, I've talked about it in videos before, how some people, uh, some of my hacker friends here exposed some of these haters and trolls. They sent me their information, my God, unsolicited. Everything about them, um, 
you know, I'm not asking nobody to, to out anybody. I'm not soliciting that. I'm just saying, some people sent me some shit telling me who some of these guys were. And when I saw their photos, it was heartbreaking. When I saw their photos and their situation, I said, holy shit, that now, not giving them a pass, but it explains the motivation why they do what they do online anonymously. Because in person, they've, uh, in reality, they got a hard life. Not giving them a pass or saying they have a, an excuse, but there are factors behind their life and their appearance. Um, that you can just you, you can just look at it and just say, okay, now I understand why that dude's such a fucking asshole online. Now I understand it. I just ban him and I don't want to engage because asshole number one and shithead number one, I know there's something going on in your life. And we'll, we'll just leave it at that, okay? So I'm, I'm, for entertainment purposes, I have to poke you just a little bit, but that's it. That's the end of it. Okay, I hope you, uh, hope you find happiness. And I hope you stop doing what you're doing because we've only got so many, so many wake-ups on this planet, this beautiful planet we call the Earth. Why would you spend it just fucking with other people that you don't even know People like me that don't even care. Maybe just go out to Walmart and buy you a fishing pole. You guys are loners anyhow. I know who you are. So you're, you don't have a girlfriend. You don't have any friends. Well, guess what? You don't have to have a partner to go fishing. It's much better if you got a friend, unless he talks too much. Go to Walmart, buy you a fishing pole. You can get a fishing pole combo for like, you know, 25 bucks at Walmart. Get you a tackle box, you're in and out for 50 bucks. Load that shit up, get, get you some bait, and if you ain't got no bait, just get a pack of hot dogs. I've caught more catfish off of fucking hot dogs than anybody in the world. And you go down to the lake, take you a, take you a picnic, bologna sandwich, I recommend some uh, sour cream and onion chips. Uh, don't drink and drive, but you know, bring you a couple cans of beer if you don't drink, some Cokes. And uh, just go out there and go fishing. You know, just cast that out there while you're fishing, you're eating your bologna sandwich, sipping on your beer. Maybe put a little music on, whatever, whatever you like, you know. Um, don't put it under that heavy metal, fucking alternative, garage band, whatever the fuck they call all that. That, that, that head banging shit that fucks with your brain. Don't get that shit out of there. Put on some fucking CCR. Put on some Credence, man. Put on some fucking Credence. Go fishing. Sip on that can of beer. Eat, chomp down on that poor man's steak sandwich. Okay? That bologna sandwich with some mayonnaise and some cheddar cheese on there. That thick, Cheddar cheese, cut a big slice, you know, from it's got the red, red uh, rind on it, that type of cheese. And enjoy yourself fishing. And leave that motherfucking cell phone at home or in the truck. Well, you ain't got no truck. <laughs> well, maybe. Leave it in your car. All right, folks, if you're not a subscriber on my channel, right there. Hit that overstay road sign. And get on board my train. I certainly appreciate it. Food, beer, beasts, bad behavior. Um, it's whatever I feel like doing. Click that bell because I got no watch and no production schedule. It's just whenever I pull out a camera and start talking to you guys. I want to thank all 26,000. I think we're up to 800. 26,000 is 800 yet? I think so. Wow. I want to thank every one of you for clicking that subscribe button and clicking that bell and just being here for us and watching our videos and listening to my voice. You don't know how much we, we appreciate it, so I say thank you. Folks, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.